I'm Gretchen Hudig. I'm Stacy Kelsey. I'm Delyn Greer. In 2014, we started the Boise Acupuncture Co-op. The Boise Acupuncture Co-op is a nonprofit community acupuncture clinic. On a small level, Boise Acupuncture Co-op is making acupuncture affordable, but on a really big level, we're also improving the quality of lives for the community. We were working together at a community clinic and um, we started envisioning what, how far we could take this idea of community acupuncture. So uh, we went to a conference where they talked about um, uh, larger clinics and how they function together and where it wasn't just one person who had all of the business responsibility on their shoulders. So once the three of us were um, working here and we realized how much we needed to grow um, and we were a nonprofit and we had the whole vision, uh, it was really important to us to bring on people that shared this vision that were as passionate as we were um, because then they could do this work and they would want to be as invested in the business and we were so fortunate to be able to get these people coming to us. Um, so over the next uh, few years we grew to have from being the three of us, um, two acupuncturists and one office staff to um, having a staff of eight people with five acupuncturists and three office staff and everyone is is thoroughly invested in in the in the business. Mm -hmm. We operate under a sociocracy format, which means that everyone has an equal voice here. Uh, we all make decisions uh, as a consensus. It's not a majority uh, vote, and um, and everyone everyone is seen as an equal. Our mission is to be accessible to everyone, and we do that by offering a sliding scale fee. We have a convenient and accessible location, and then we also offer acupuncture seven days a week. I'm Chanel from the Boise Acupuncture Co-op. I am an acupuncturist here. Uh, BAC serves everyone in our community, so we try and make a welcoming space for everyone. Um, we do that by having a, an accessible sliding scale. Uh, we're open seven days a week, both mornings and evenings, and we practice trauma-informed care here. Uh, so if you're a human, you are welcome to come and get acupuncture at Boise Acupuncture Co-op. While acupuncture is a very powerful tool to promote health and well-being uh, for everyone in the community, we also acknowledge that there are a lot of reasons why folks might not be able to access our clinic, even given our sliding scale. So uh, to, to help to address those health disparities, we create programs um, here in the clinic, and then we also partner with other organizations and nonprofits in the area to bring acupuncture to underserved communities in our area. Here at BAC, we acknowledge that healing is an ongoing process and that there are a lot of different influences that impact people's journey towards well-being. Um, and we try and listen to our community with open hearts and ears. We welcome our patients to come in and we empower them on their journey towards health. Um, and we really believe that taking a nap as an adult is a very productive thing to do with your time. Hello, my name is Linda. And I'm Diane. And we're the uh, volunteer coordinators at BAC. Uh, without volunteers, BAC would not be able to uh, function. Currently, we have 16 volunteers that work here at our front desk. Um, they do anything from answering the phones, um, of course, welcoming in our patients, and uh, making appointments. So our 16 front desk volunteers um, they cover 20 shifts that are four hours each, and uh, that works out to be 80 hours a week. So that really uh, encompasses a lot of volunteer time there. Um, we're, seems like we're almost always looking for volunteers, people, different ways that people can help out. Um, if, you know, if people are interested, we encourage them to either talk to Linda or myself, or um, you can email us or talk to whoever, whomever is working here at the front desk at the time um, and they can get us in contact with you. 
thank you, each one of our volunteers, for your dedication and support. We're seeing a lot of people, and what we're noticing is we have two bathrooms here, and neither of them are ADA compliant. What we really need right now is a building that's functional, that's ADA compliant, that's, um, yeah, bigger because we are growing out of this, and, um, but more than that, it's, it's our patients that are, you know, physically challenged, that need a place to go to the bathroom, just get into the treatment room easier. Hi, my name's Lori, and I'm an acupuncturist here at Boise Acupuncture Co-op. I'm here to talk to you today a little bit about, um, as a community member, how to get more involved with us here at BAC. So first of all, come in and get a treatment experience the magic. Um, second of all, you can come and volunteer. There's a number of ways you can volunteer here. You can work as a receptionist at the front desk. The front desk is really a part of the initial welcome, um, a tone that we try to set at the clinic here and so important to the clinic. And you can be what we would call here um, part of our fairy team, which is the cleaning fairies or the laundry fairies. All together, this volunteer force, <clears throat> there's no way we could, uh, there's no way we could give the affordable and accessible care um, that we offer here without this volunteer force. Another way to get involved is to just donate things that we use every day in the clinic. Boring things like laundry soap, cough drops, cleaning supplies, things that are so vital to the clinic. And lastly, you can donate with cash. So you can donate when you come and get a treatment. You can also donate at the front desk. We also have a super wonderful little box. You can anonymously put money in there. Um, you can donate on our website or send us a check.